Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to BioBox Labs. Take a look at one of your favorite pictures. What do you see? Maybe it's a family member, a pet, or your best friend. Looking at these photos isn't hard for us. However, our eyes do all of the work for us. You could basically say our eyes are our superheroes. They do all the hard work so that we can look at beautiful things. So in today's box, we're going to be learning all about the eye and all about the different structures of the eye and what the eye does. Now, we're starting off with the sheep's eye. I know you may be thinking, that's disgusting. However, a lot of people have said that it's their favorite part of the box. So this is a picture of the eye that's in your lab book from this side. So as we do the experiment, you can follow along to see all the different parts of the eye. So before we start the experiment, it's always very important to set out a paper towel. Next, you always need to make sure you have your gloves. Then we need our fine point scissors. We can't forget the forceps, goggles, and of course, the eye. And lastly, make sure you always set your tray on top of the paper towel. Hey guys, now that I have my goggles and my gloves and all my supplies, I'm ready to start the dissection. So this part right here is called the sclera. It is a thick white covering that protects the eye. Now this part is called the cornea. It's the slightly cloudy round window into the inner eye. So it's clear when living and it allows light to pass into the eye. Now, the optic nerve is located in the back of the eye. It's a small white tube in the back where all the images are sent to the brain. So now we're gonna start the actual dissection of the eye. So make sure the pokey part of the scissor is on the bottom. We're going to make an incision right above the cornea. Now, before I begin, if there's some fluid that comes out, it's called humor, but let me tell you, it's not funny. The humor is a jelly-like substance that fills the whole eye. So after you poke the hole into the top of the cornea, you wanna make sure you cut a circle, but don't cut it all off. Just do it so it's a little flap like this. The iris right here is a colored part of the eye that has a round opening right here called the pupil. The pupil allows light images to pass through. The lens, which is the ball-shaped structure behind the pupil, it's usually clear and flexible to help us see close and far away. Sometimes it's really bouncy. Give it a try. So now I'm going to cut the sclera from the side so you guys can see all of the cool insides of the eye. So if you feel like you're cutting too hard and it's really tough, it's okay. So now that we've cut open the eye, we can see the lens right here. And this part right here is a thin layer covering the back of the eye called the retina. Now this contains the tiny structures, rods and cones that receive light images that will be sent to the brain. And behind it is the choroid. So what did you guys think? I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. So now write down some questions. What was the most interesting feature of the eye? What is the texture of the eye? And always Instagram if you want or email us at bioboxlabs.com. I hope you enjoy all the rest of the experiments you're going to do in this month's BioBox. Music